Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining me for another shave. So happy and blessed to be back with you again. It's been a while. Uh, some developments I want to share with you while I've been away, some new passions of mine in the wet shaving community. Going to be reviewing some exciting and new equipment today, uh, a new release uh, that was available this morning if you were quick enough to get your hands on it. Uh, new brush, uh, developed a new passion for a new blade that I've discovered while I've been away. I want to share that with you. It's the blade I'm going to be using today. So excited to share all those things with you. But the highlight of today, of course, is the soap and splash. And so the soap I'm going to be reviewing today is Almond Leather by Mammoth Soap. So if you don't know Mammoth, they are the artisan behind Huga, behind Mood Indigo, behind Funny Valentine, and now Almond Leather. So I think this is the fourth installment in their releases. Ben Esposito out of New York is the artisan behind this. And Ben tells me that the name Mammoth is derived from the phrase, the elephant in the room. So Ben has some causes that he's really passionate about. One of those is the fight against human trafficking. And so a portion of the proceeds from the soaps, I didn't realize this, actually go to um, organizations that fight human trafficking, uh, that create resources to kind of um, address the issue, to fight it. And so um, I think that's really cool. And so that's uh, where the name was derived from, uh, that just basically Ben's passion for that. Um, he sees it as the elephant in the room and that's where the term mammoth came from. So didn't know that about the soap. I think that's pretty cool. If you've ever seen the packaging, I'll show you in a second. I mean, the labels are top notch, very artistic. Uh, the scents are very unique. Almond leather, uh, the fragrance on it is just as it's displayed. Uh, it's an almond leather fusion. The leather is a little more subdued by the almond. The almond is the more pronounced fragrance. Um, there's also some orange blossom and some other fragrances mixed in, but those are the two fragrances that really protrude from the fragrance itself. And so um, I get more of the almond and the leather really complements it. If it sounds awkward, it really isn't. You have to smell it to kind of uh, experience it and to make a determination for yourself whether it's a scent you're going to love. Um, I think it's fantastic. I love the scent. I haven't stopped smelling it since I picked it up yesterday. And so I'm excited to review that for you today. So let's go ahead and get going. Have the soap blooming. Um, new brush in the West Coast shaving line. You've seen this handle before. This is their tortoise bottom ivory top. But this knot is that 24 millimeter tuxedo knot that I absolutely love. You've seen it in some of my other videos. It is um, the knot that I have in the Ancient Stone Collection brush that I have, the Topaz. And so now that knot is available in these handles. If you like the way that this design is and you really love this knot, which I do, I like this design as well. So it was nice to kind of change it up from the Ancient Stone and get it in this handle. So really great bargain. They were on sale, I think, for like 11 bucks or something this past week when I picked it up. And so if you go on the site, I don't know if the sale's still going, but uh, they're very affordable, very great performers. And so I'm gonna be using this today. So let me go ahead and just rinse it off really quick. Since I got it at the store and everyone's had their hand on it, you know, I gotta rinse it off, OCD and everything. So it's synthetic. You don't really have to soak it. So one of the things I've been developing while I've been away has been perfecting my lathering technique. And so I think I've got it down. I can reduce the amount of time. I'm three minutes in and I've got all of my monologue done. And so um, this soap, the highlight of it is the ingredients. This is a tallow based formula, but it also has duck fat in it. So it's a fusion of the two. And I don't know of any other artisan that does that. And maybe it's just that. I just don't know of any other artisan, but maybe there is. But um, that's one of the highlights of Ben's soaps is that fusion of duck fat and tallow. So if you're a fan of duck fat, if you're a fan of tallow, if you're a fan of, of all the other exteric acid and all the other great ingredients that go into a great soap, this soap has all of that. This fragrance, um, I remember when I first started wet shaving, the thought of tobacco, the thought of leather, the thought of some of the other things I see in soaps, fragrances, um, I just thought like, I don't know how that could smell good, but until you actually put your sniffer to it, um, you just don't know. And so um, these two fragrances, I mean, it, the, the fusion is just so complimentary and I think you'll love it. I like it. Uh, and you know, it's drawn some correlations from some folks I've talked to to Soap Commander Drive, which is a leather vetiver scent. Um, the leather in the vetiver is a very staunch fragrance. It's very loud. It's very uh, pronounced. It gets right into your nose and stings it. Uh, I like that fragrance, personally. This one, again, is a little more pleasant, more, a little more subdued. 
and all around just great. Oh, it smells so good. Imagine cello with like a little bit of a cologne type of kick. It's hard to explain, it's just really, really nice. It almost smells like a cherry almond, but the leather gives it just a really nice fragrance. It's almost indescribable. I can't even think of a good term to encapsulate it. But the lather on this is just insane. I'm, oh, look at that. This is just off of my hand. This is what I pulled from the actual tub itself. Now, Mammoth Soaps uses uh, containers. I don't know if they're the same, but similar to what you get with Barrister and Man, that uh, really hard plastic translucent bottom or transparent bottom that uh, looks like glass almost. But I don't think it's glass. It's those same types of containers. I'll show you in a second, but really nice. And there's still a ton of soap to grab off of this. So this is the actual, the bottom of the container I just showed you the cap. It's really nice. The presentation on it is lovely. And for me, presentation, as you know, it's a big thing. So let me go ahead and load this baby up real quick. One of the things I've been doing too is really just doing swirling passes to develop the lather on like the first two go arounds. And then I pretty much just paint the rest of the lather in. I find that's a better technique. I get that density and volume that I'm looking for. And this is my first go around with Mammoth Soap. So the other dynamic with Mammoth is it's very popular. Uh, ben, if you've ever got a chance to meet him or uh, talk to him, he's just a terrific individual. Um, very kind, he's got a big heart. And he's very, very passionate about the soap making process and his business and he puts a lot of TLC into it, and he's just a guy that you can tell just gives a darn about what he does. And I think that's a key to success is you gotta show people that you really care about what you do, and this is just not something that you do to, to make money and pass time or you know, expect people to get it just because. The other thing I've been doing, thanks to Thor, hopefully he sees this video, is since my stopper is broken on my side of the sink, my wife's is working, but I've been filling my fine accoutrements bowl with water and just using that to dip so I don't have to keep adding water through, running it through the tap. You know, conservation and all that stuff. We've been having rain like you won't believe here in California. I can't remember the last time it was this rainy. And Literally every week we're getting two to three days of rain, which is very rare for California. And it's been nice because we really need it. It's been a blessing. They say there's a water shortage. They've been saying that for I don't know how long. Even though we live on the Pacific Coast and we're right next to a huge body of water. Anyways, that's a topic for another day. But this stuff, oh my gosh, is beautiful. Look at that lather. And one of the things I'm loving too One of the components I'm looking for in a great shade these days has been how quickly the lather can develop the way that I want it in a very short amount of time. I think I'm gonna go with that. My gosh, this is one beautiful lather. Well done, Ben. So there is a matching splash too. I'll get to that when I'm done here. But I do wanna share with you, I was doing a live shave the other day and I've been revisiting some of the blades I used in the very beginning. I've been at this almost four years. So I've been trying some of the blades I used in the beginning of my excursion. Um, just maybe I used them real quickly, didn't really know what I was doing, didn't have a good technique. And one of the blades I revisited was these babies, Pole Silvers. Oh my gosh, the best shave I ever had or I've ever received has been from this blade so far. Um, I've used them twice now. This is gonna be the second shave on this blade that I have in the razor. But OMG, I am loving this razor. I mean, it is just, or this blade, it is comfortable, it's smooth. I can't even feel it in that above the tie. And so, anyways, just falling in love with this. Uh, it, you know, your mileage may vary. Everybody has their preferences.
This is a rather expensive blade. It's about 250 a pack. It's on the higher end of things. And there were some talks a couple of years ago about them going out of production. It doesn't appear that that's happened. They're available everywhere. West Coast Shaving had them. I picked a bunch up. Um, but it's my new favorite blade right now. There was some others that I still enjoy that you've seen in the past. I still like them. They're still in my rotation. But this blade, I've absolutely fallen in love with. It's the best shave I've ever received so far in my almost four years of wet shaving has been from that blade. So got my above the tie M1 with the Windsor handle. Absolutely in love with this razor. Those two paired together are a match made in heaven. It's just a perfect marriage. Smooth and efficient. I love it. With all the razors I've used so far, all the blades I've used in this razor, this is a fantastic razor and it's totally changed my thought process and the way that I perceive razors and how I'm going to approach them going forward. Um, I think I've only used one other razor one other time since I got this razor for Christmas. But those pole silvers are absolutely, I mean, this is just an excellent blade. And the reason I revisited it too is because there was a lot of people, um, shaves that I watch on the Daily Shave series, other people that just constantly feature them, how much they love the blade. And I remember using it before. And again, back then I didn't really know what I was doing. I was still kind of developing a technique, perfecting it. Um, so you're so focused on just shaving that you're really not focused on what you're enjoying or what provides you what. You don't really know what to expect at the time because you haven't tried a wide variety of things. And in this case, uh, you know, almost four years in, I've tried so many things, so many different blades. Um, look at that lather, it's just gorgeous. But this fragrance, uh, when I smelled it at the store, again, I'm not a clamorous guy. So when stuff comes out, uh, it dropped around 7 a.m. this morning almond leather did and I'm sure it's gone I'm sure it was gone at 701 or 702 um, which I think is remarkable I mean you know I find that that happens with artisans like Ben uh, artisans like Chad Irish who make um, the guy that makes Cole's Pond why am I Talbot I don't know why I was drawing a blank there so yeah when those things are available people are on it I'm not sure about Chad, but I know Ben has a job. He has a career. I know he's putting a lot of time into Mammoth, and so um, there are artisans, as you know, um, like Oleo and Soap Commander, just to name a few, that are full-time soap makers. And I don't know that Ben is. And so I think he makes soaps when he can and he makes the amount that he can, the quantity that he can, and then puts them out there. And of course, you know, some folks will get upset when they can't get a soap, but you know, I think they just, they make what they can make and they put it out there. So I'm sure they'd love to just continue to make soap so everybody gets one, but. This razor, Sings like a bird. I love it. I mean, paired together, I can't even feel the blade on this thing. On rare occasions, I can, just depending on the angle I'm coming at. But it is so smooth and just so efficient. I mean, you don't feel anything and the hair is removed. I mean, to me, that's the perfect experience. I'm not looking for the blade feel. 
So if you haven't tried pulled silver, again, they're a little bit more on the expensive side. To me, the best bargain blade is probably an Astra Green. Uh, for the price that you pay, you get sharpness and efficiency, but that blade, it's a super iridium blade. What well, that means, I don't know, but I just know it's pretty terrific. But I remember when it was going out, um, I think a lot of folks uh, tried to go all the way to other countries uh, via mail, you know, eBay uh, websites to try to pick them up before they went out of production. But I remember that being like two years ago, maybe longer, and I've not seen them go out of production. And so I think it might've been a hoax, I don't know, but I've been using them. And I remember I did a live shave last week and I was just using different blades and I decided, you know, I'm gonna get a pack of these pole silvers and try them out. You know, there's a lot of fanfare surrounding them. A lot of folks that like them. You know, let me revisit these blades and oh my gosh. So again, the price tag on this hobby continues to increase for me. And in that incline, um, goes all the other things that I leave behind. So do I sell them? I guess. So right now the pass that I'm doing, that's the pass where I normally feel the most friction from the blade. I don't feel anything right now. And that to me is glorious. It's remarkable. So I gotta say, the texture of the soap is amazing. The slickness is amazing. The cushion is, uh, cushion is amazing. I mean, everything you've come to expect from a soap like this, absolutely fantastic. Now for a set, There is a splash that West Coast Shaving has made uh, to accompany Ben Soaps. And I'll show you that in a second. It's a skin food formula that's absolutely fantastic. So West Coast Shaving has it made for them. The set together, you're looking at about 45 bucks. So it's a little bit on the higher end of things. You get four ounces, it's a semi-hard soap. But again, got two of my favorite ingredients in a soap. Uh, when I saw that, I didn't realize that Ben Soaps did that, that he had those two components in there. So when I saw that, I was uh, you know doing my happy dance. 18 minutes, look at me. Almost done, one my last pass. All right, here it is. Look at that. Oh, this stuff smells so good. So Ben, wonderful job. I'm a big fan of your soaps. Uh, I, I knew I would be. Um, there's a lot of folks you've seen, um, other daily shavers like Ross. Um, I can't remember if anybody else has done them that have reviewed Mammoth soaps in the past and all great reviews, all glowing. Mammoth has a ton of fans. It's got another one now, that's me. Uh, this soap is absolutely terrific and it's a soap I can tell I'm gonna use with frequency. Did I tell you that I love this razor and this blade? It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, so, I don't feel anything. The other component too that I've noticed, and I, and I found this with the Baudelaire Shave too, is the protection that's being provided by the soap. So it is very cushiony, and I'm sure that's contributing to the smoothness I'm feeling or the lack of the blade feel. Um, but I'm learning too, as I'm going deeper into my shaving excursion, that the cushion component of a soap base is very, very pivotal, very important. But this stuff is slick, like my hand can just 
glide super slick I think too that even people that say I'm not a big fan of leather are still gonna like this I can't feel a thing. And that's a combination of the soap, the blade, and the razor itself. I mean, I gotta tell you, I thought I experienced everything in this hobby, but since last week, my experience has been taken up a notch. You heard it here on the Daily Shave Channel by West Coast Shaving. Unbelievable. I've like re-fallen in love with this hobby again. Trying products like these, matching them with product. I mean, to me, it is worth it. I, I was always a big budget guy, but since I've been purchasing products like you're seeing today, like Mammoth Soaps, Oleo, um, this type of razor, the higher end blades, oh my gosh, the experience just goes up another notch. For me, it does. I still have some of my budget friendly stuff that I really enjoy, but I just, I'm looking at things from a whole new perspective. All right, I'm done, folks. 21 minutes. Yeehaw. Can't wait to tell the guys all about it. Oh, my gosh. What a shave. That was an absolutely amazing shave. And let me tell you, the post shave on this, pretty dang amazing. Again, I, I talked about that component on the Baudelaire shave about post shave. My face just feels good. Again, I don't feel like I'm gonna start lifting off the ground and levitating, but my face feels clean, it feels refreshed, it feels the way that you wanna feel after a nice shave. It just feels good. And so the post shave component of this soak, A plus. Absolutely fantastic. Now I'm gonna apply the skin food formula. This is the splash right here. Has a little bit of a contrast in it as far as scent goes. And I like that. I, I don't like when they smell exactly the same. I like when the, spa, the splash itself complements the soap by having a differing fragrance. And this one actually does that. My gosh, I, you have no idea. Since this last, literally this last seven, eight days, I've been enjoying my shaves so much more than I ever did. And it's again, due to some of the things I just described. Stuff feels so good. Wow. What a post shave. The splash is amazing. Feels good, it's invigorating. Has a little bit of a sting to it, but a refreshing kind of one, a good kind of sting, if you know what I mean. So that's that. All right, folks. Almond leather, would definitely recommend it. This is not gonna be the last mammoth soap that I pick up. Um, I, Man, this is an absolutely terrific formula. Um, like I said, as I've been experiencing higher end things like Mammoth, like Holy Cow, like uh, Oleo, I mean, it really, you, you kind of owe it to yourself to try these kinds of things. Again, I kind of steered away from this stuff just thinking it was kind of gimmicky in the past, but as I've been using the higher end items, the better formulations, as I've been using, you know, higher end razors, better blades, it really takes your wet shaving excursion to a whole new level. So I'm excited. This is terrific. Pick it up. The fragrance is amazing. All right, guys, 24 minutes. I just knocked six minutes off. So next week, I'm looking to knock another four minutes off. I want to get these to about 20 minutes. So thank you for joining me. I hope you're all blessed. God bless you all. Thanks for joining me. Till next time.